Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stealing 33 Plays, the Darkest Dungeon. My name is Stealing 33, and today, ladies and gentlemen, today we are gonna go get ourselves a solar crown inside of the Warrens. It's a level three dungeon. We just have to explore 90% of the rooms. Um, I'm sending in this team because uh, we don't really have any good level one dungeons, and we don't have enough money to fix most of our level one people right now. Like, I have to like give them some stress relief. Like, they're they need to not be so fucked up and otherwise like we can't go and i'm kind of hoping that we'll end up with um a man at arms or something on the next uh, like in the next stage coach because uh we really we need a man at arms we need some sort of front line like a man at arms a fucking hound master something we need something to help us out here uh so this is what we're gonna do now uh, we also need the money so like i'm not gonna do to be too salty about that we're only gonna take this much food and then we're gonna take a bunch of torches, I think. Like, 15 should be fine. And, of course, four shovels, two keys. And then, uh, we're going into the warren, so I'm gonna bring bandages and another... And some anti-venom. Because there's lots of venom and shit in here. Well, of course, we'll take one of, a couple of these. This is what we're gonna do. Uh, it's a short mission. I'm hoping it won't be that bad. This team's pretty solid. Uh, it's a lot of damage, but we also have got that sick rain alt with his Holy Lance... The Bulwark of Faith, the Stunning Blow, and the Smite, of course. Uh, Lentil's coming back in here with Chop, Purge, the Self-Heal, and Intimidate, which is, like, actually super lit. Uh, Ide is back with her Divine Comfort, the Group Heal, the Single Target Heal, the Judgment, and the Stun. And, of course, we have Mackle, uh, Macklemore with her Sniper Shot, the Bola, Blind Fire, and the Battlefield Bandage. Uh, all of that's really good, um, and they've also got, all been equipped. She has the Bullseye Bandana and the Reaper Hourglass, giving her tons of crit, tons of accuracy and speed. Um, not so great on the dodge front, but that's made up for by the, uh, the Reaper's Hourglass a little bit. Uh, Ida's coming in with the Book of Sanity and the Haste Chalice for the Vestal. Um, we didn't really have a lot of good stuff for her to take, so I'm sort of just playing a utility game with her. Of course, we got the Gambler's Charm and the Tenacity Ring on Lentil, Probably the best character that we have right now. And, of course, Raynault. Raynault's coming in with fucking a host of very, very good uh, quirks. But he's also got the Commander's Orders, which aren't very helpful because he doesn't actually have Battle Heal on. Um, but the crit's at very good. And he's also got the Sun Ring, which is why we're taking so many torches. Because uh, I would like to keep keep it up if we can. Because that really that synergizes well with Warrior of Light. So as long as the, the light is up, he's getting, like, plus what 25 percent damage which is like super good he's gonna be hitting like a truck he's gonna be hitting almost as hard as lentil does when lentil isn't currently uh getting corked out by dud hitter or by tuckered out yeah by tuckered out um so yeah without further ado let's get this show on the road let's just double check and make sure that everything's where it needs to be yeah i feel like we're good like maybe one less shovel if that fucks me, I'm gonna be mad, but you know what? It's fine. We're here to get some money. We're here to, you know, continue progressing in the game, because we do need to continue to win dungeons in order to progress in the game. Uh, hopefully we'll have a, the ability to do a lot of this stuff. Uh, this, since this room's empty, we're gonna come down here and grab it. I don't see why not. Cut it? No? How about, uh, dump it? There we go. Drought of Beasts. That's going to be very helpful as we progress forward here. Since everything in here is a human-beast hybrid character, uh, I'm confident in our ability to win with uh, with that in mind. If we get into trouble, that's what I'll, I'll dump. I'll drop that, and we'll uh, we'll kick some ass with it. All right. First fight. We'll see how this goes. Uh, well, of course, we'll open up with a stun on this motherfucker, because he's an asshole. Uh, and I really don't want to deal with any stress damage right now. That would be pretty nasty, if you asked me. Uh, I, I asked for one, for sniper shot, right? That sniper shot? Yeah, okay. We'll do that. Get rid of this guy first, uh, because he's a healer, apparently. So, I, um, would prefer it if he was not able to heal his friends too, too much here. Uh, hook him where it hurts on Reynault, but it's a good dodge. And it also put this guy in a range of getting smited. Damn it. Uh, we're probably gonna try to use Bulwark of Faith as much as possible when we get into combat in order to try to maintain our torchlight. That's the hope at any rate. Sniper shot that guy. Oh, yeah, it's good crit. Good crit. Feeling pretty good right now. Uh, ooh, Nasty is going to be healed now. Nasty hit, actually. 
Uh, he might actually do a couple self-healing as well. Um, we'll let Reynault take care of... Take care of all the pain here. The pain train, if you will. Oh, and he's got a... That's a nasty bleed. We're gonna have to fix that. I did bring some bandages, so... Not too... Too concerned, but it is... A small problem. I think it's eight damage is nasty. Let's bandage that up, and we'll heal you. Hook him where it hurts. Damn it, that hurts. <laughs> I couldn't help myself, I'm sorry. The gag was too good. Oh, that was a good double crit. Sure, her crit chance actually coming into play finally. Do a direct heal and then we'll start group healing now that he's a little bit out of the out of the problem park here. Ow, that hurts. That hurts me. Uh, let's go ahead and do intimidate. We'll reduce some damage here, hopefully. And then let's stun this guy. Which is good. Alright. This guy also needs to be stunned. But this guy does a lot of damage too. So, do it again. Good. Bolo. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and group heal here. Oh, that's, that's real sick. Real sick group heal there, right? Bop him on the head here. There we go. Got plus 45 damage for two more rounds. Plus 30 damage for two rounds. It's too much. Do another group heal. That crit's great. Well, it helps out a little bit, but it's very good. Very good. Put some damage down on this guy. Ball and chain's not so bad. Only because she already went. But if she had like not already gone, it would have been pretty pretty sick nasty. It was 9 out of 16, I think I saw flash through there. Let's purge this guy so that way that corpse doesn't get a move. Because um, it can do, like, putrefy and cause diseases and shit, and frankly, I just don't want to deal with it. Butcher cut's bad, because it can cause bleeds, but that's okay. It actually went fine. We'll go ahead and heal a little bit here. This guy's probably going to be dead soonish, so, like, I'm okay spending some time healing here. Like, Reynolds will probably, like, cut through him, yeah, like, almost by himself. All that damage. All that sick, nasty damage. Get the healing up a little bit. Just keep doing the group heals. We still have the debuff, but um, I think we're compensating for that debuff by doing the Solemnity plus the Battlefield Bandage over and over again. Uh, this guy's dead now. Got 15 damage. So much damage. Look at all that damage. So good. It's so good. Up we go. That actually didn't go so bad. It took a little while, but I'm going to blame the forces of devilry on that. 60%, 60%, 60%. Everybody's got 60%. Didn't really bring somebody who was good at dealing with traps here. Staunch that. Staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Uh, let's search this guy and use the ant, use the herbs to do that. Yeah. We definitely need the money, so I'm, uh... Not too concerned about any of that. Now, that's a swine tar. That guy's kind of scary, but the charming swine marcher is scarier. So, yeah. I don't know why that guy got to move, by the way. I think it's bullshit. Stun him. He resisted it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, do this. Okay. Really need to kill this guy. Or stun him. Let's stun him. Oh, no. That's bad. Oh, luckily he took our healer, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, Actually, might help a little bit because she's not super defensive. We need to kill this guy. Like, really badly so we can get our healer back. Alright, good. That hit. I'm happy about that. And then hopefully we'll be able to do... Uh, Drums of Dooms. Not the worst thing he could do. He could have buffed this guy and done some serious damage. Boar Rush is bad. Ugh, that's a hit. That's a hit. He needs to be healed now. Squeal. Divine Comfort. Oh, I wish it healed her too. That would have been nice. What a buff. For healing received. What is this madness? We're going to go ahead and hit this guy. The Swine Tars are scary. Um, oh, so good. So much damage. We're going to have to heal... Um, Rain alt a whole bunch. But this guy's got so much stun resistance. 
I'm actually a little nervous about this. Let's heal rain all the little. There we go. That's a good six. We'll do another direct heal for 16. Oh my god, so good. All right, then we'll do divine divine bulwark. The light gains purchase. Spirit the bulwark of faith, rather divine bulwark. Is made clear. Let's do this. I would like to get that debuff down on him if we can, but it's not looking like it's gonna happen here. Ah, oh no. That's fucking awful. Okay, what are we gonna do here? What's the what's the plan? The plan is to just keep trying to heal our way out of it and let Reynolt and uh, the leper do their job. Just kind of hope. Oh god, this is really getting bad. Yeah, like, this guy's just so fucking powerful. Holy shit. Like, we're just getting, con like, hemorrhaging damage here. It's, like, so bad. Alright, let's do sniper shot. No, that didn't work. Probably should have done... the bolo, maybe, to get rid of the corpse. Because it's kind of fucking us a little bit. Ugh. She's on death's door now. Should we run? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. We're just gonna keep hitting him. That's the plan. This guy's scary. Um, like really scary. Cause he's got like a lot of protection in addition to being kind of a huge asshole. Crunching backhand? That sounds bad. Not great. The stun's bad. But now he can't do that, uh, he can't do that move anymore where he hits everybody, so... I feel like that's... I feel like we're in an okay situation here. And by okay, I definitely mean, like, barely clinging to life, but... It's now a lot easier for us to continue to cling to life. We're probably gonna camp after this, just to heal. Like... It's too much damage. Just keep shooting him. Uh, he clarified in a single strike. Resisting the stun was good. She didn't resist it, though, so that's bad. Just hit him. Again, we're going to heal after this, so hopefully it'll be okay. Oh, that's a good, that's a good crit. That helps out a lot. That's why we brought extra food. I was a little nervous about this, because I, I knew that these things were going to start coming up. I thought maybe we had another, like set of levels before this w shit would happen, but, um, he needs to die. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Okay, let's camp. Eat a big a feast a here. A chance to steal the heal, we need to heal, like, that's, like, we're gonna use Sanctuary is great. Oh my god, and it also takes them off Death's Door. Ugh, if they have the Death's Door deal buff, it heals them and reduces their stress. It's actually, like, super great. Um, triage everybody. Good. Pray, because everybody here is religious, I think. Actually super great. Like, a really good set of, like, shit that we got there. Uh, that helped. That helped a little bit. That was pretty nasty. That swine tar is scary. That's something that we're gonna have to deal with, like, on the regular coming up. Like, we're gonna be a little nasty here. We're probably gonna skip these two rooms in mostly in hopes that like everybody's got sixty percent, so it doesn't like not like it matters who I pick to do this shit. Um in hopes that uh that they won't be necessary for the ninety percent, and we'll just come down this way. And you know what? No swine tar automatically better than the last like fucking one we did. Let's stun this asshole. Damn it. Come on. Gotta, gotta land these hits. Alright. Luckily, it seems like we're actually doing okay. This guy needs to go, and so does that guy back there. Uh, hemophilia is... Hemophilia is... You bleed a lot more? Did it make all of our bleeds worse? Oh, god damn it. Alright. Not great. Um, 
I'm gonna do Intimidate here. Try to debuff these guys down. Don't get stunned, please. Oh, God damn it! All right, that's fine. Sniper shot on you. All right, nine damage. Not what I was looking for. We've definitely gone down in the power scale here a little bit, but not like I'm not complaining. I just it's I'm feeling the difference between the two dungeon types. I'm feeling it. Luckily, we're getting beat up, but it's not like... They're hitting our tanks, which is what I want. That's a really nasty bleed, actually. What's that? It's like gonna be like 20-something. 4 times 7 is 28 damage. Oh, God. It's really bad. Intimidate again. Sniper shot again. There we go. Then we'll chop a Chino this guy here. There we go. Cultist Gladiator. They've even changed names. Drums of Doom, not that bad. Lots of dodges, also super good. Vomit. Don't get a disease. You can get stressed, just don't get a disease. The diseases are bad. Remove that guy from existence. Oh my god, really? Real talk here. Real talk here. Come on. I probably should have healed, actually, now I'm thinking about it, but... But your cut, that's bad because the bleeds will stack. And he's got hemophilia, so... Not so great. Definitely just gonna keep intimidating them. That My hope is to that... To the end that I hope... That kind of swine reaver. Sounds scary. The enemy crumbles. Uh, to the hope that, you know, it will cut down the damage that we're gonna be taking on Reynold and the other guy. Bulimic's actually not that bad. It reduces the amount that you heal in camp, but it also reduces the amount of food that you consume generally. Battlefield bandage this guy. I know that the cure is really low, but um, like, it's a good enough chance. It, it's important enough. Oh my god, where um, oh my god, eleven damage. Holy shit. Oh, that's bad. Heal yourself. No. All right, direct heal this guy. He's taking. He's camping. He cannot be healed. He cannot be healed. Apparently. We're gonna have to just, like, battlefield banish the hell out of him. He's gonna go on death's door if his turn comes up before any of our healers. Nope. Okay, good. Failed the cure, but it did drag the healing back towards us a little bit. That's, that's really nasty. One. Good. Alright. Probably the best we can hope for right there. The best you can hope for is to die in your sleep. When we finish drinking, the gambler he broke even. And in his final words, I found the peace that I could keep. I gotta really not hang it in there super well right now. Really super not hanging in there well. Stop it! Oh, influenza's bad. Influenza's a damage decrease, so now he's doing, like, no damage. Gotta get rid of this bleed if we can. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's actually the best thing that's happened to us this entire fight. This fight's been kind of nasty. This whole dungeon's been kind of nasty so far. Cut this guy down. We'll purge next round and hopefully drag these two assholes closer to us. The stress is fine. I, I'm actually okay with the stress. I, I'm, I'm not okay with the damage. The damage is getting a little nasty. Scurvy's... Scurvy does what? What does Scurvy do? Yeah, I know, Mackle. Just hang on a second. What does Scurvy do? Um, bleed resist, movement resist. It's actually not that bad. Um, all things considered. Oh my god, are you kidding me with the dodges? This guy with his 23 dodge? Fuck you, guy. I guess. I don't really... I wanted to purge this corpse. Which I guess we'll just do by hitting it. Oh, damn it. Yeah, because then it'll do putrefy and blight him. Immunosuppression's bad, because that decreases his ability to resist diseases. Going forward. Purge this out. Get rid of all the corpses. Bring this guy closer so we can hit him. There we 
we go. And we'll just start heal- oh, oh. So fucking nasty. She needs to be direct healed. Because like, she will not survive another hit like that. In terms of debilitation's fine. You just- you do that, man. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Fucker. on the brink, facing the abyss. Get a little bit of healing while we can. And then we'll make her eat some food. Get her off of death's These door. Marish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. There we go. Okay. Why don't you open that? It's trapped. Ah, but we resisted the the blight, so it's not that big of a deal. Alright. Downward we go. I came from nothing, but I will not end with nothing. Alright, touch it. Go for it. Do it. Do it. Fucking glory. <laughs> Take a goddamn thousand years. Drink this. We're go we're going in hard. In radiance, may we find victory. In radiance, may we definitely find victory. Alright, that's not so bad. That's actually better. I was a little nervous about the other guy. Although he does a lot of damage and blights people, which might be bad. Oh shit. Okay. That's those bleeds are getting those bleeds are not negligible anymore. That's a forceful cultist berserker. That's bad. Well, not so bad actually, because uh, Reynal can now use um, Holy Lance to hit this guy for like a million damage. <laughs> Although I probably should have cured that blight while I was able to, but that's okay. That's okay. Bandage you. Oh, the crit's good. I uh, didn't get rid of the bleed. Uh, please don't bleed again. Nah, okay. That's just bad. He cannot resist the bleeds. I can even remember that he got hemophilia. Yeah, so, like, it's super likely that he's just gonna bleed every single time he gets hit by something that causes bleeds. He's also just not doing any damage anymore. Which really isn't great. Heal him. Cure failed is bad. Heal everybody. Okay, I guess. That thing being in the back is fine by me. It can stay there for all for all I care. Like, I'm just gonna ignore it. Oh my god, please stop. Please, I beg you. Yeah, I was like, hit Reynolt, like, a little bit. Alright, first of all, let's cure that. Second of all, let's hit the forceful guy. Fucking lord. Are you kidding me right now? Get Reynold off death's door. He'll heal himself to get himself off death's door. Divine comfort again. Oh, that crit's great. Super good. Alright. Heal yourself. Or like, like throw it. He can't do any damage, so we might as well heal him. Guy does fucking nothing. Of all the damn debuffs. Uh, it's a good dodge. Come on. Uh... You know what? You can stay there for all I care. Don't go next, though. Go, like, after literally anybody else. Okay, good. Hit that guy. She can't heal him, because... Okay. Heal yourself. You can't heal yourself, because you need to be in the front two rows to do that. All right. Taking 12 damage a turn every turn for three more turns is, like, kind of nasty. Because, like, we're just constantly making sure he doesn't drop dead. Like, that's, that's what's happening here. Although he's not currently going to drop dead. So I'm just going to ignore him for this turn. That might have been a poor choice. Not I'm thinking about it. It's okay. It's okay. Hang in there, Lentil. Don't you fucking dry on me. No, Lentil! <laughs> no! Fuck! Alright, that's... That's fucking great. I love that. That's so good. 
Why would I need why would I need one of my highest damaging characters to be alive as we go forward here? That's dumb. That's a dumb thing. Ah, oh, god damn it. We're getting our ass kicked right now. Probably should have been stunning these guys now that I'm thinking about it, but like no use crying over spilt milk is sort of how I'm feeling right now. Spilt lentils. He's crying over spilt lentils. The direct heal is really important. Kill this guy. Let's get out of here. I'm so sorry, Lentil. Remind I failed you. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I really did. I failed him so bad. All right. You know what? Let's get rid of that and replace it with the tenacity ring, probably. Yeah, let's get rid of it. Let's do it like that. I know dude's got no accuracy now, but, like, the crit's not helping, and the healing done isn't useful. So, like, I don't see any reason to continue having those items on there. No more fights, please. I just, like... Such like, unsurprising. it's not that we're, like, not able to handle more fights. I just really don't want to do more fights. No, I don't... We need a knife to interact with that to get the, um... The benefit from it. Oh, this is awful. The game was just like, hey, fuck you. And I was like, okay, that's fucking great. Corpse Eater's fucking got so much HP. It doesn't do very good damage, but um, the problem is that this guy needs to be in the front in order to make him stop doing the moves that hit us like a goddamn truck. So we need to get rid of the Corpse Eater in order to, like, get out of this properly. Like, this is awful. This is an awful setup. If I did, like, way more damage, we might be okay, but I don't, so... Like, yeah, it's this is pretty bad. He doesn't do good damage, but the problem is that he does weaken everybody else. And it lets this guy do his stupid fucking that thing over and over again. Luckily, he doesn't apply bleeds, so I'm not that nervous about it. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? Trot retreat's fine. Hopefully one of our people will go before yeah, before the corpse eater goes and kills Reynault. Boar rush on just the Vestal is okay, actually? Injury and despondence. As long as he doesn't get stunned. Okie dokie. That's fine. It's all good. Let's do this. The is lit. The path is Hopefully, clear. the extra protection will keep us alive here. Only the strength to follow it. All right. Not what I wanted to hit at all. Tentacle devour on a target that isn't on death's door is actually okay with me. That's bad. Double kill. Double kill. All right. Holy shit. Let's get out of here before Mackle dies. Question mark. And let's just escape the dungeon, hopefully. I want to keep our trinkets, essentially, is the way this is going. There we go. Yeah, alright. Super good. That was awful. That was really awful. <laughs> um... In time. Tragic extent of my failings. Alright, good. It doesn't look like we lost all of those trinkets. No, okay. I think we kept... Yeah, we kept all the trinkets. So, like, that's fine, I guess. We're, like, pretty broke now, though. Which is bad. A new a new leper, a new hellion, and a new vestal. All one and the same. Let's take a look at what we can maybe do for next episode here. Survival guide... Selfish Pendant, which is, uh, less stress damage. 
Plague Doctor. Yeah, this uh, this whole thing, it's not going well. This isn't going well. We've lost almost all of our level 3 characters, so they've stopped giving us level 3 dungeons. <laughs> Alright, on the next episode, uh, we will try to figure out what the hell we're going to do here. We're going to have to send in a suicide run with, like, no food or supplies at all. I'm thinking it's going to be Papan, Fecamp, Bonafiti, Bonafant, and Vesli. This is probably the team we're going to do it with. Actually, let's take you off and let's put, like, Raincourt in. Raincourt can come. Yeah, and we'll, like, try to go for, like, the survival guide or something. Well, I mean, we need portraits, so yeah, we'll try to go for the survival guide or something. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode, so thank you all so much for watching. Having a really bad run of luck here, and a really bad run of form. Uh, but if you guys are enjoying what you, the series, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you guys have any tips for how to make that leap to the champion level dungeons, that isn't just, like, get the blacksmith up and running, which I know I need to do. I just haven't been able to do so. Um... Let me know. Uh, I would really appreciate it. So uh, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye!